Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is crashing minus 4.59%. We are dropping and uh, it feels like there is no hope for it, right? We are losing every single one of its key support levels over here. We lost the 21 EMA, we lost the 290, we lost the $280. So what's next for us? Is there any hope for Tesla in the end? Indeed, there are many bad news, but there are some good news as well. And I will update you guys in this video. First, remember to click on the like button to support this channel and subscribe if you are new around here because I'm gonna keep you updated on Tesla's price action every single day in this channel. I'm here every single day. Regardless if Tesla is going up or down, I will be here. So remember my friends, subscribe this channel now. The situation is not that good for Tesla indeed. Uh, we lost all of its key support levels, we lost even the $280, which was the support level that I was working with, to be honest with you guys. This support level was a classic one. Was a support level over here on September 2, I'm so sorry, resistance level on September 2 in the hourly chart, a resistance level on August 31, again, it was a support level on August 9, it was a resistance level on July 28, and it was a resistance level again on July 22. So see, classic uh, support level to work with on Tesla. Today, we are losing it. In, a, in addition, it, it feels like we are completely ignoring this support level. And uh, what's next for us right now? Since we lost the last support level over here, in theory, we are heading to $265. This is the next support level to work with on Tesla. Okay, Nathan, is there any bullish reaction right now on Tesla that could make us avoid this bearish scenario? No, there's not a single bullish reaction right now. Neither in the one hour chart, nor the daily chart, nor the weekly chart. The situation seems quite hopeless right now, but we have some good news. First, let's calculate, let's let's do some calculations over here. The problem is not necessarily Tesla, but the year of 2022. We have so many macro catalysts and they are all affecting Tesla's performance. This year was so bad that wiped out almost all the gains seen in 2021. If you analyze Tesla right now, uh, since 2021, Tesla is going up only uh, 18%, 16%, right? That's not that good. If we calculate the CPI, for instance, which, uh, no, it's it's not here. Uh, by the way, this website is quite good. I always use this website to do my fundamental analysis. And uh, this is why Tesla is such an, an incredible company. Amazing future growth, amazing financial health. Tesla is has very, very few debt over here. It has an enormous cash reserve. So Tesla is not going to fail, right? It is still the same old company we know, but its price, it's dropping. What this means to you? Maybe, maybe to you, this is terrible. To me, this is an opportunity to buy at a cheaper price level. Now, CPI, since 2021, January 2021, $100, would be the equivalent of $113 right now. So if you invested $100 on Tesla in 2021, okay, now you have $116. But if you consider inflation, well, you are not making too much money right now. So it is the macro situation, okay? Tesla is still fundamentally speaking a very good company. If we analyze SPY, SPY is nearly on break even since 2021, it's going up practically 0% right now. So SPY is wiping out all of its gains from 2021 as well. So the year of 2022 was indeed very, very rough. Very rough. It is still very rough. Fortunately to us, our portfolio is going up 57%. That's right, 57%. Check my website over here. The link is in the description of this video. We are beating the market and my track record is public. Click here to check my track record. Every single one of my previous trades, they're all here on my website. I think you guys are going to be impressed with our performance. 
we are beating the market by a mile, Tesla by a mile, so yeah, consider subscribing to our newsletters. Now, back to Tesla. So the situation is not that good, right? We are going up practically nothing uh, considering inflation, and uh, it feels like there is no hope for it in the short and mid-term as well. But again, there are some good news. Tesla's fundamentals are still the same. Now, if you ask me, in the weekly chart, there is still there is still this this pattern over here. We still have a possible flag pattern in the weekly chart, in my humble opinion, right? So the bias is not completely bearish right now, even considering we are dropping minus 9% this week. So we are not doing a crystal clear bearish structure in the weekly chart. Not good enough to convince me that we're going to seek lower levels like the $200 down here. No, there is no such thing right now. If we lose $265, then okay, the situation is not that good at all. I believe Tesla is going to seek the $200 again. But uh, right now, as long as we stay above 265 I think the situation will be under control. We are not in a good place. We are not clearly bullish right now because Tesla is just crashing. But uh, to me, if we see any reaction near the support level, it's going to be just an opportunity to buy. Now, what, what Tesla must do in order to avoid a, a further drop to the 265? If Tesla reacts next week, closing above $280 on Monday or by Tuesday, I think I think Tesla will have decent chances of bouncing back up and recovering and at least avoiding a further drop in the midterm to the 265. This is how I see the situation right now. If It all depends on how it's going to react next Monday. If we do a bullish candlestick over here closing above 280, fantastic. I think we're going to avoid a further bearish scenario or even possibly reverse the short term trend over here and retest $313 again. This is a real possibility. But guys, without confirmation, without bullish reaction, all of this is just fiction. OK, it is just in theory. So we got to wait for confirmation. We got to wait for the price action to materialize uh, its movements and to reinforce our thesis, regardless if it is going to be bullish or bearish, we are, either way, we are prepared for either scenario, for both scenarios, okay? This is how I see Tesla for the next week. Monday is going to be quite crazy. We, ha we will have many answers by Monday, so I think next week is going to be quite crazy and promising week. I will keep you guys updated every single day in this channel. If you want to have access to further premium, premium analysis, Consider subscribing our newsletter. Remember, my friends, the Market Dive daily newsletter is here for you. Thank you very much for your support, my dear friends. Stay safe. Farewell.